Welcome to the Perform Workflow video series. This video will explain the step-by-step -step procedure to select a perforation gun for completion design purposes and a newly drilled gas well. When designing a well completion, engineers need to take into account the entire well system in order to maximize production without damaging the formation. One important challenge in this design process is selecting the appropriate perforating gun to use as the length and diameter of the resulting perforations can have a huge impact on well productivity. With PERFORM's perforating gun selection tool, you can see and use laboratory test data from all the leading perforating gun manufacturers, correct the anticipated perforation length for downhole conditions using API recommended practices, and then conduct a sensitivity analysis to determine which gun will yield the optimal production. In order to demonstrate this workflow, we will be using one of the example analyses provided with PERFORM. First, click File, and then Open, and then navigate to the folder where PERFORM is installed. In the Example folder, open the file named completion underscore gun underscore selection. Click on the Easy Interface button on the top toolbar. In this example, we are designing a completion for a deep gas well. We are trying to decide on a perforating gun so we will conduct a sensitivity analysis to determine which gun will give us the most production. Let's take a quick look at the fluid, reservoir, and wellbore parameters. Double click on the light green area to open the fluid data screen. For this example, we are producing from a gas well where the gas has a specific gravity of 0.61, an API condensate gravity of 45, a condensate yield of 40 barrels per million cubic feet, and a few impurities. Click OK and then double click on the formation outside the wellbore to open the reservoir data screen. In this example we are dealing with a deep high temperature high pressure well. The reservoir pressure is over 14,000 psi and the temperature is nearing 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Selecting the optimum perforating gun in this kind of environment can prove to be a challenge as the high reservoir pressures can lead to small perforation tunnels. Double click on the casing or on the tubing to enter the wellbore data screen. The casing information needs to be entered into PERFORM prior to using the perforating gun selection tool. Next, double click in the area near the perforations to open the completions data screen. Click on the Calculate Perf Length and Gun Data button to bring up the perforating gun tool. Click on the Gun Data button to bring up the database and input the downhole conditions. Select a gun manufacturer and model. In this case, we'll use a Titan Group PPG 3112 321T, and then enter the downhole effective stress and mean wet uniaxial compressive strength of the formation. This is necessary because the perforation length reported by the manufacturers is based on laboratory testing and needs correction to match downhole conditions. We'll use an effective stress of 5500 and a compressive strength of 2400. Notice that the API test data shows a perforation length of 22.4 inches. Click OK and then click the Calculate button to have PERFORM correct the perforation dimensions for downhole conditions. Notice that our new perforation length is 20.506 inches. Click OK to exit the completions data screen. We are now ready to calculate for the base case. Click the Calculate button and then click on the Sensitivity Analysis button on the top toolbar. PERFORM allows you to conduct sensitivity analyses for nearly any parameter or dialog box and determine the resulting changes in production. From the Inflow tab in the Sensitivity screen, select the Completions dialog and under each case, click on the icon labeled with the Completions type to edit the parameters for that case. Then. Click on the Calculate Perf Length and Gun Data button, then on the Gun Data button, and select the Titan Group PPG-3111-311 perforating gun. Click OK, and then Calculate to have PERFORM determine the perforation length and diameter. Hit OK, and then return to the Sensitivity Analysis screen. You can repeat this process for up to five different cases per parameter or dialog box, but for now, we'll look at four different perforating guns. Click OK to exit the sensitivity analysis screen. Finally, 
click the Calculate button to have performed Generate the Reports and Plots for all cases. The system graph shows inflow and outflow curves for the various cases. Each of the various inflow curves represents the well productivity using a separate perforating gun. For this example, we have also created an inflow sensitivity graph to show how the different perforating guns affect production. The system report and solution point reports break down each of the solution points in greater detail, and from all of this data, we can conclude that the PPG-3111-311 is the best gun to use, resulting in the highest production of 24 million standard cubic feet per day at a pressure of 12,974 PSI. This video briefly demonstrated how Perform can help you to select the best perforating gun to optimize a completion's design. To see workflows of how Perform can help you to solve other common production optimization problems, watch the rest of the video series.